uh, thanks again for speaking with us today. Yeah, of course. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, first off, you know, congratulations on you know you know all the buzz that that the uh, that your film has been uh, generating thus far. Um, I, I suppose I'll start by uh, by asking you how the story uh, for the film came about. I mean, especially seeing that you know the film not only stars you but uh, stars you know your your real life son as well. Yeah, you know, I, I uh, well, thank you. I it's been it's been a really uh, rewarding process in so many ways and I, I I got the idea of making the film just because as a writer I like uh, writing about what I know and it's it's a very therapeutic process for me a very exploratory process and I recently just became a dad and um, and that just happened to coincide with me knowing I wanted to make another film as a director and and I thought okay how cool would it be to make a movie you know with a father and son in a way that you hadn't really seen before. You mm-hmm. know, I, I haven't really, at the time I was like, I couldn't really think of uh, a really poignant father-son film um, in this way, and uh, and so I set out to figure out a way to make something as authentic as possible and, and took it from there. Okay, okay. Now, now, seeing that, I mean, I understand that there was a, a, a great deal of, you know, real-life experiences that you kind of incorporated into the film um uh could it, were, were there any you know circumstances where you know you initially maybe in, in one draft of, of the the film that you that there were s- certain things that you wanted to incorporate into it and then you know as the drafts you know kind of came along to the you know to the final cut of the film that you you know you decided at the last minute that it was something that was just too too personal to you to include into the story well, no, not for me. There was nothing like too personal. Okay. For me, it was like the whole thing was like uh, such a huge sigh of relief in a way. Like just putting it all out there in a way. Okay. In terms of, I just love vulnerability in films. Like I love seeing, um, you know, real vulnerability and, and uh, real intimacy and real love and yeah. in a way that's. Um, you know, that people can relate to. You know, there's, right. there's definitely a fine line between uh, the complexities of, of the human emotions surrounding that stuff and, you know, a performance of that. And, um, you know, the, the one thing that did change, though, in terms of, of drafts of the script is that when I first started writing this, you know, Isaac hadn't really started speaking yet. And, oh, wow, okay. And then, it was like, and then it was like overnight, it was like, oh my God, like my son and his language and his ability to speak at this age is really amazing. And so I kind of abandoned uh, that draft and, and then stripped it down and, and created, it wrote a, a treatment as opposed to writing all this dialogue. And then the film became, you know, entirely improv based because, you know, there was no way that I would be able to... Um, write dialogue for my two-year-old son that would be uh as effective as just what was what was naturally coming out of his mouth you know gotcha gotcha well it actually uh helps me transition to the the next question i have for you um you know after doing some research i understand that the you know the film was a, a shot a great deal according to you know the mood you know of your son um in terms of what you decided you know to shoot on on that day um, and typically, you know, when, when you when you hear, uh, you know, about films being shot, you know, you hear about uh, having to accommodate to, you know, your location or, you know, how long you're allowed to shoot in that said location, etc. Um, so, so can you talk a little bit about the, the challenges you faced as well as, you know, the unforeseen, you know, advantages um, that you encountered in shooting in, in such a way that, that, that you did? Yeah, you know, like, this movie was so hard to make because it's really hard to make something seem so easy. Uh-huh. You know, like I've been, I've been saying this, you know, recently today. Just of like, it takes, it takes so much effort to make something seem so effortless. Um, and uh, you know, I didn't have a traditional crew, um, and you know, most of these locations were just, you know, they were it was guerrilla style. You know, we we weren't permitted. We didn't have like a big you know, trailers to go walk back to. We didn't have PAs. Um, so it was, like, a lot of meticulous planning, a lot of preparation to, like, let go and to succumb to whatever would happen in the moment, mm-hmm. which is a really ex- exhilarating, you know, way to work. Um, 
but yeah, it was, uh, you know, for instance, the scene that we have in the cemetery um, was incredibly stressful because, you know, we didn't have permission to be there. Um, you know, I'm there with my son, and I know that I have to, you know, give a pretty, get to a pretty raw state emotionally. Um, and then also in the corner of my eye, I'm looking at, like, security coming, you know, <laughs> like, it, it, which is, which made it really difficult it's like one of the most emotional scenes for me to have in the film and I'm like wait is that is that a guy okay no and you know and then also just being in a cemetery and you know the energy surrounding being in a place like that and um was a really uh it, it was really tough but also you know so enriching at the same time gotcha gotcha oh well, well to add to that um since, since you know you did shoot in that way, you know, and according to you know your son's mood, you know, how, how much did that af- uh, affect? Um, and I'm, I'm uh, I apologize, I'm kind of going into a little bit of technicality, but how how much did that factor into you know what you hear about uh, um, uh, hours that that you know children you know typically are allowed to work when it comes to you know being on set, or was it you know different for you since you know it, it was your son? And not you know uh, uh, another actor that you that you hired. Yeah, no, I mean it was it was entirely different. You know, I've, I've made a bunch of movies with with child actors who have like stage moms and stage dads, you know, and are like you know have the uh, you know the onset teacher and stuff like that. And right, right, right. For this, it was like I mean, you know, Isaac's day was about twenty minutes of filming, gotcha. and it wasn't. It wasn't work, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he wasn't working. He was just we were living our life at that at that time. Huh. Um, and then he has me as his dad there, who's like, you know, my own, the only thing I care about in this world is my child and his well being. So, you know, it was a, uh, it was, it was, you know, very much for him. I mean, he wasn't even really aware that we were making a film. You know, and he wasn't, you know, having to give a performance. He was having to just, like, be with me, um, you know, throughout, you know, our day. And we'd work in these really short bursts of time, and then we'd go out and, like, hit the playground real hard after, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, last question for you. Um, in terms, and this is kind of, you know, in the same vein, um, for, uh, for, you know, putting the... Uh, uh, constructing the film, how much would you say that that it that it was kind of you know improv? If if you understand what I mean, since since uh, a lot of it you know wasn't necessarily you know in terms of your son wasn't uh, uh, scripted. Was it kind of just like outline on what you what you were going to do in in that particular scene? If if you were kind of you know adjusting yourself to your son? Yeah. So you know the the. The way the film was made was basically, like, I had a very meticulous outline, you know, like a very clear beginning, middle, and end. And in order to achieve that very clear beginning, middle, and end, I had to have particular settings. So, you know, so, you know, everything was scripted in terms of the settings. It's like, you know, in bed in the morning and bedtime routine and the audition scene and the cemetery scene and the party scene and meeting Lydia, you know, these all had their settings. Um, gotcha. And the emotional stakes were very clear, and my, you know, re- the dynamic between the different people was very clear. And so there was all this preparation in terms of the backstory and creating the settings and the environment. And my mantra basically was like preparing to let go. So it was like all this preparation to let go, so that all the dialogue and all the interaction that was improv and in the moment was all in this perfectly held space uh, that made sense for the film and and helped tell the story, you know? I see. Well, all right. Uh, Well, well, thanks again, Mark, and uh, thanks for your time. Yeah, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you.